Hey, and welcome to a, uh, another Get Electronic video. Um, we have a water damage DCU uh, on a bench today. Um, just ultrasonic it, and this is what we have here. We'll see this damage pin here. It obviously goes to this uh, bypass cap, which is on the um, power, power rail of this uh, ECU. Um, I'll just put up a shot of a um, before we ultrasonic it. Yeah, you know, and um, just apply a bit of flux here just to aid in the solderability on this pin. We don't want to add too much heat onto this pin, otherwise, we'll fuck the chip. And uh, we've only got one shot with this uh, due to it being a microprocessor, um, and we can't replace it. So, I'll just tin the uh, top top half of this. So I won't touch the bottom one because we obviously know that that will uh, never go anywhere. I'll just uh, also get some uh, wire wrapping wire and that's what I'll use to connect the two halves together and it's obviously a power power feed onto this IC so this is why it's obviously not going okay so I'll start by um, I'll probably uh, just uh, add it to the bottom here and then work our way up uh, obviously it's going to be the less riskiest way of, of uh, attaching this this wire onto this chip. Okay, and then I'll just uh, angle this around with uh, some fine tweezers just to make it conform to the, um, the original track work that's uh, that was there beforehand. There we go, nicely into position. Obviously don't want it touching any other traces otherwise uh, it'll create unnecessary shorts and we certainly don't want that to happen. And I'll just carefully turn the top here and let it melt, tidy it up, and there we have it. It's nicely secure on. No, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, now I just need to uh, change my um, Swan Morgan scalpel knife here, and and um, then I'll cut the top off. I'll just give it a little quick brush to, to get rid of some of that flux. And we'll just slice the top. Slice the top there. Can't really get in there with side cutters, it's just too too narrow. Um, so we'll just have to use a scalpel blade and then just nick the, the very bottom of it and then just bend it uh, just to f metal fatigue it off. And that would just do the job perfectly. And there we go. Nicely off. Now to, to clean this up, I obviously can't use a, a brush. Um, it's too delicate at this point. Um, so I'll use a high pressure isopropyl alcohol uh, in a syringe and preferably at high temperature. So I'll just uh, take that directly out of the um, ultrasonic bath. And I'll just, just have a little squirt here. So that nice high pressure stream. Here we go. Get rid of that mark there too. Nothing wrong over there. Just general, give it a general irrigate. Okay, that looks pretty damn good. As you can see, the IPA is drying off quite quickly there uh, because it is hot. And off we go. Perfect. That's how you repair a. Um, a damaged uh, panel on an ECU.